There's really no way to find out who bought this painting. Sorry, Elizabeth. The buyer asks to remain anonymous. Oh, they know how lucky they are. Oh, I'd say Frank was the lucky one. Hey. hey. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you guys can make it. Like I've missed Franco's return to the art world or your hosting skills, which, by the way, are on point. Oh, thank you. So how's it going? Uh, well, judging by all the red dots, I'd say pretty well. Franco's artwork is flying off the walls. I'd like to congratulate the artist. Where is he? You didn't see him when you came in? Mm-mm. What could have dragged Franco away from his own opening? Oh. Later, Pops. Where are you going? I gotta find Betsy. She promised me that she would meet me here and tell me what was going on in that photograph, whether it was Jason or somebody else, and she's gone. She's checked out. She's disappeared. What does that tell you? It tells me that you should quit while you're ahead. Let it go. Hey, let her go. I can't. Look at this. I've seen this picture. Yeah, but look again, okay? Because it's one thing to have an imaginary friend and then convince yourself that he's your long lost twin. It's another thing entirely to have actual proof, to have actual real world basis for an obsession. Proof? This isn't proof. Jason and I are together in that photograph. Not only that, we are dressed the same. So? So? That's not random, okay? That's not, that's not some weird coincidence. You know what? Maybe it was a baseball shirt day at the playground. <clears throat> Who knows? I know. I've seen photographs of Jason, other photographs at that same age. I admit that it's uncanny, his resemblance to Jason. But I was Jason's guardian for a hot second. I have known Jason his entire life. And I'm telling you this, and you better get it through your head. Jason spent his entire childhood here in Port Charles. This kid? is not Jason. We decided to schmooze separately so we can cover more ground. Are you sure you didn't see Franco anywhere? Mm -mm. Frank is the kind of guy who stands out even if he doesn't mean to. Maybe he just took a bathroom break. Yeah, maybe. This one's cool. Oh, yeah. This one, this is my favorite. Franco's too. Representational with a touch of surrealism, especially in the clouds. Like I said, cool. Dramatics. I didn't know you were a connoisseur. I dabble. But this image is unique. I mean, Franco's other work is undeniably powerful, but this painting, even though the boys are separated by the mirror effect, a visual barrier between their worlds, it still feels hopeful. That's exactly what I told Franco. <laughs> How dare you celebrate this monster and his art? People died for this garbage, including my sister, and you're just gonna stand here and applaud it? I, I, I'm, uh, look, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah, like the courts were? A million dollars. Can you believe that? Like that's what my sister's life was worth. Well, guess what? Some things are priceless. Some things, no matter how much you throw at it, money just can't fix. Hey, ma'am. 